beautiful yogis. Today we're doing vinyasa for posture and core, starting in the front of the mat, focusing on the breath, turning the gaze inward into the body, focusing on gazing at the central axis of the body, bringing the gaze at the central axis of the body, inhaling, exhaling slowly through the nose. And let's roll the shoulders back and down. Open the palms of the hands forward, which will allow the shoulders to drop back and down with more openness. Receiving prana through the hands. Breathing in and out through the hands now. Chin parallel to the floor, lifting through the crown of the head and begin to feel as if you are floating in mid-air, floating or as if you're stepping on clouds and just floating, weightless. Finding a weightless quality, the weightless quality of the body feeling in the finer bodies. Hands over the heart. Inhaling to the heart center, opening the chest with each inhalation a little more. Widening the back, feeling the heart chakra from the back side of the body as well as from the front. Inhale the hands over the head and sit back in chair. Push the knees back. Look at your toes, lift your toes off the floor. Exhale, keep the knees bent and lower down in a forward bend. Shake your head. Wrap the wrist around the elbows. Wave the body, upper body waving side to side. Rocking. Shifting the weight onto the right leg, lifting the left heel off the floor and then opposite side. One more time, shift, shift, center, hands on the ground, begin to straighten your back, keep your knees bent, lengthen through the crown of the head, really feel the length of the spine here, pull the belly in, connecting with the core, drop the shoulders away from the ears, bend the knees a little more, push the booty back and really straighten the back furthermore, pull the belly in, lengthen the back of the neck, hands on the ground, plank, press the heels away from you, Pull the belly in. Open the chest, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the inner thighs towards the midline. Again, finding that mid axis. Lower down, Chaturanga. Either Cobra or upward facing dog.
optional second chaturanga downward facing dog let's drop the knees onto the ground and shift the shoulders over the wrists and begin to lower down in chaturanga forward pull the belly in and press up take a moment and one more chaturanga from the knees with a real strong connection to the core lift last one lift and come on to all fours inhale arching exhale rounding inhale arching exhale rounding inhale arching exhale rounding from here lower down onto your belly and lift elbows into the ribcage cobra lower down chin to the floor press the hands behind you interlacing the fingers and lift here you can lift the legs release one more time lift release the hands underneath the shoulders press up down dog pull the belly in and up high lunge hands behind the head press the elbows back open the chest keep the elbows pressing away from each other and back lengthening the back of the neck releasing the muscles that are contracted in the front of the chest softening them allowing them to let go of the pattern of the pattern in which they're holding they hold during the day letting go of patterns great release left hand to the floor spin the right arm up. really drop the shoulders away from the ears here feel the alignment of this pose the lightness the ease lengthen over the head Turn the palm of the hand down, press the back heel away from you and reach. Excellent. Hands on the ground, strong plank. Whether you keep your knees on the ground or not, try Chaturanga. Upward dog, optional second Chaturanga. And back. Lifting. Softening, strengthening. Inhale the left leg up, step it up, high lunge. Hands behind the head, press the elbows away from each other and back. Lengthen the front of the body, feel it. Lengthen the back of the neck, soften the chest. Imagine the armor dissolving. Become, becoming flexible still there still strong yet flexible and coming out of this exhale the right hand down spin the left arm up Press the back heel straight up and away from you. And you can reach over towards the front. Both hands on the floor. Step it back. Plank. Lower down onto your belly. Grab your ankles and lift 
can use a strap here or you can simply do the pose we did before just clasping the hands lifting the legs release hands underneath the shoulders press your toes down tucking them under squeeze your elbows into the chest pull the belly as hard as you can in really firming the abdominal wall and lift strong exhale downward facing dog look under the left shoulder and under the right left right left right center inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge hands behind the head pressing the elbows back and away from each other and let's lower the right elbow down left elbow comes up keep them in the same line so we're not twisting here we're keeping everything aligned you can look up back to center here you can twist to your right and now lower the right elbow down just slightly this is a intricate pose back to center inhale reach hands in prayer lengthen twist soften keep pressing the back heel up in a way release lower down glide your back foot further back and take a little stretch here great step it back strong plank really focus on your core here strong chaturanga upward dog optional second chaturanga down dog you can sway your hips side to side here inhale the left leg up step it through high lunge hands behind the head lifting the entire upper back is elongated here breathe and continue softening come back to center lowering the left elbow down right arm up keep pressing the elbows back you can look up or you can keep the head straight feeling the IT bend here coming out of this twist to your left extending the tailbone down pressing the back heel and you can lower now the left elbow down inhale reach exhale prayer lengthen twist soften into the twist exhale and soften the belly hands on the ground glide your back foot back and stretch here step it back plank a really strong core chaturanga is a core pose squeeze the elbows in inhale upward dog chaturanga down dog do you feel your core connected in on the second chaturanga do you feel it firing up as you lift that's where you know the condition of your core
and we're going to lower down onto the forearms and bring your ears between your triceps pressing the tailbone high lifting the tailbone high great coming out of this down dog inhale the right leg up open the right hip on top of the left lift the knee as high as you can lift 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 freedom breath which means intention in your breath that your breath is free flowing light yet all encompassing reaching every single cell in your body drop the foot behind you wild thing open here really lifting the chest towards the front of your room great coming out of this into side plank bring your head behind your hand behind the head and press that elbow back open connect with the core great reach ahead of you plank strong core again chaturanga up dog Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Open the left hip on top. Bend the knee and lift. Lift, lift, lift. Keep the back wide, upper back wide. And let's take wild thing. Keep opening the chest forward. Side plank. Bring the left hand behind the head and open the elbow back. Open, open, open. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Effortless here. Plank, Chaturanga, Upward Dog, Chaturanga, Downward Dog, drop the knees on the ground, Bring your hands onto the lower back, fingertips pointing up. Walk your elbows in, release the shoulders, press the hips forward and the heart up. And press the back away from your fingertips up so there is elongation there. Coming out, child's pose. One more time coming up. Come on. Walk your hands in, elbows in, fingertips up, lifting through the heart. Releasing the front of the body, the musculature. Child's pose. Inhale the hands over the head, interlacing the fingers, elbows, shoulder width apart and we're going to take the toes under and bring the head between the elbows or between the triceps, 
opening the back here, releasing the back, keep pressing the head forward so it's not going over your hands but rather lining up with your arms, with your shoulders and elbows. Look between the hands, release the down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Drop the back heel down, warrior one. Softening the, the tension here. A strong pose should be held with integrity and inner strength rather than will and yanking your body into a pose. You should find the pose within the body, within the aura of the body, within the finer bodies and just be it, be the pose. It's within you, finding the pose within. Exhale, lower down with the chest as open as you can. Plank. Let's bring the right knee between the elbows five times, slowly, one, two, three, four, five, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the left leg up, warrior one, soften into this pose, feel it, feel the ease in the pose rather than finding the pose in the mind with too much alignment pointers, feel it, ease into it. Every pose is dynamic and fluid and we find it within us and we adjust it to how our body feels when we listen. Find the strength here. Open the chest, open the arms out and begin to lower down. Feel like a bird here. And lower down, plank. Knee tucks. The right leg is burning, it's really on fire. Left leg is moving effortlessly, floating. Two, three, four. Five, Chaturanga, inhale, Chaturanga, exhale. Spread the fingers open, fire up the thumbs, the base of the thumbs. which releases the shoulders and aligns you to find the proper alignment here. Alignment is not in the textbooks. Alignment is in your body when you pay attention, when you breathe, when you turn inward, when you tune in. Let's lower the forearms down and clasp your hands. Bring your head in the hands and I do take one leg up here or you can take both into L stand. And lower down, press back into down dog. Up 
Inhale the right leg up, stepping through. Drop the back heel down, warrior two, facing the side of your room. Reverse it. Bring the back hand back and around. Lengthen through the fingertips. Straighten the leg. Hinging at the hips. Tailbone lengthening. Shoulder opening. You can reach ahead of you first. And then lower down. Triangle pose. Uttita Trikunasana. Extended triangle pose. Reaching over the head, turn the palm of the hand down. Line the shoulders on top of each other so they're in the same plane. Exhale, both hands to the ground. Lower the back knee down. Release that hip flexor, which is a big player in your posture. Soften, don't overstretch it, don't go too far. Yoga is not about achievement. Yoga is about listening. It doesn't matter how the pose looks, but it does matter how the pose feels. And sometimes when the mind is too active, we don't feel what we feel. We're not aware of how things feel because the body is turned off, disconnected and the mind keeps yapping away. Great, step it back, plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Chaturanga, downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through. Drop the back heel down, windmilling the hands into warrior two. Look at your alignment, see that your knee is pointing directly forward. You can close the eyes after you look and feel how that feels. The right hip is externally rotating. Spread the toes open. Let's reverse it, reach up and over the head. And let's wrap the right arm back and around. Lift here, shoulders lining, aligning with each other. Coming out of this. You can reach way ahead of you, extending the tailbone down and lengthen. The torso is lengthening. If it feels better, you can reach over the hand and turn the palm of the hand down. But if you feel like reaching up, you'll do what feels right. From here, we're going to bring the hands down and walk them to the center. Soles of the feet or the feet parallel to each other. Bring your hands behind, clasping, and let go here. Head is heavy. The face muscles are relaxing and releasing. Releasing their usual pattern of holding. Let's look over to the right left look over to the right and turn the right shoulder slightly up opposite side just moving here you don't have to look at the screen you can just move left and right and feel what your body wants to do lower the hands down straighten the back walk the hands to the front lower the right knee down and soften that hip flexor which will Release the lower back 
and allow you to have better posture. Allows you to stand up, core connected, strong, open hearted. Aligned. Great. Step it back onto all fours. Let's turn the tailbone to the right, look over to your right, left, left, right, right, left, left, center, plank, chaturanga, upward dog. Chaturanga, downward dog. How does that Chaturanga feel, especially the second one? Feel it, feel it. Walk to the back of the room, point the toes out, and let's bring the hands in prayer. Squat. Yogic squat, opening the chest, widening the back. on the ground, straighten the legs, straighten the back, pull the belly in, bend the knees and come up to standing, lifting over the head, feet parallel to each other, reach over to one side, over to the other, reaching over to one, side bends over to the other, one more, extending the tailbone down without forcing that extension, just finding the proper alignment for the spine. Reach and lengthen. Opposite side, reach and lengthen. And if you can, grab a wall. Go close to a wall. Back to the wall. And from here, you're going to reach the hands up and begin to lower them down, finding the wall. Feet parallel to each other and begin to walk your hands down the wall. As far down as it feels good, don't force it. You don't have to reach the floor. Coming out of this, soften the shoulders. One more time, feet pointing directly forward. And walking back up, great. From here we are going to come to the front of the mat. Inhale, reach, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, plank. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, warrior two. Let's bring the right hand in front of the right foot and grab your back heel if you can, otherwise just take half moon, walk up, open. Both hands on the ground, bend the right knee and then Square the hips and let's straighten the back, come up to standing. Right hand to the left knee, right hand to the left foot, extend and twist. Slowly coming out of this, bend the left knee, bend the right knee 
bring your left ankle over the right knee, soften here, open the chest, hands in prayer, either stay here or lower down and you can walk your shin bone on top of your triceps and lower down, lift Plank, Chaturanga, Up Dog, Chaturanga, pull the belly in, Down Dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through. Windmill the hands into Warrior Drum. From here, you're going to shift forward, lower the left hand down, take the right hand to the right ankle and open. I have a wall behind me, which can be used as a prop to reach up. From here, bring both hands on the floor, bend the right knee, bring it in and then square the hips. Straighten the back and core in, core fired up. Come up, either left hand to right knee or left hand to right foot and open the right arm back. Whenever you're ready, shift your perspective, look behind you. Great, coming out of this, bend the knee, bend the other knee, lower it down, pop the body back, breathe into that right hip. And either stay here or lower down. Walk that chin bone as high as you can. Really wiggle it in. And then begin to shift. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Let's drop the knees on the ground and begin to lower the chest down. Slowly gliding out of this onto your belly. Hands behind the head, elbows back, Lift the hands, arms, head off the floor. Keep lifting those elbows back. Hands on the ground. Squeeze your elbows into your ribcage. Pull the belly in till the toes under. Really feel the body as one strong aligned, full of power by integrity, entity, and lift and press back down dock. Inhale the right leg up, open the hip, lower it down while thin. And you can lower down into wheel. And coming out of wheel, into hands on the ground, left knee to the front, pigeon, lifting the ribcage away from the hips, keep that length, lower down.
And from here, coming up, you can look over your left shoulder really elongating, the hip flexor bent, the right knee lower down here. Release. Down dog. Take the left leg up, open the hip, step it down, wild thing, wheel, coming out of it, let's bring the right knee really lifting here, lower down, up and looking over the right shoulder and let's bring both legs in front soles of the feet together opening here So set the feet on the floor, reach in front of you. You can shift side to side here, feeling the hips. Hands behind you, tabletop. Really lift, engaging your all the muscles in the posterior, posterior chain. Extend the legs into reverse plank. Lift, 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 lift. Lower down. And legs in front of you, forward bend. Inhale, coming up and lower down onto your back. Bend the right knee, lift the left leg halfway up and reach in front of you, really pressing the lower back down and pressing here everything in. Everything is activated. You can, especially postpartum mamas or weightlifters, powerlifters, touch between the transverse abdomen is the two sides and see if there's separation, close it in, squeeze it in. If you can't squeeze it in, place the left leg down as well and squeeze until it comes together over time. Keep coming back to this class. Let's do a variation of the 100s. Release and change sides. Press the lower back down. Come up, check. Pause here and see, are your hips aligning or are you favoring one side? If you are, adjust, level them. Release, soles of the feet together, 
palms of the hands facing each other and now drop the arms out see how this rotates the shoulder out and opens the chest without the tension of popping the chest open but rather gently opens the chest soften the chin bring your hands underneath your legs and drop the right knee into the left foot feel the release here release is happening in the hips in the deeper structure opposite side lifting both knees up straightening the left leg and from here a strap can work I'll work without a strap I'll grab uh, my calf and level my hips now without my hips moving I will just move my leg slightly left leg slightly to the right until I feel a deep stretch. Flex the foot, really flex it. Yeah, and really, really one of those kind of deep, delicious moves. Opposite side. I love food, but I also love deliciousness of other sorts. <laughs> so we're here to experience the, the amazingness of our earth, not just to suffer and grow, but to also experience beauty, poetry, art, and most of all, love. All right, release it. Let's do a supine twist, knee over the other, walk away, soft and relax. Changing sides, life is a balance of effort, intensity, softness, ease, and we bring all of that into a class. We don't just do easy or just hard, we do everything. We bring the balance of everything because we're looking for balance. Coming out. Stay in the present moment. Make yourself comfortable in Shavasana. Bring a blanket if you need to. Let the hips relax. Soften the belly, soften the chest. Soften the jaw. Stay here just for a couple of moments. Feeling the lightness and the heaviness of the body bowl. Feeling the openness and the strength. Tapping into your uniqueness. and belonging to the oneness. Let's inhale the hands over the head, clasping, point the toes, and walk your feet and hands over to the left, forming a crescent, keep your hips and your shoulders on the ground. Let's do it to the other side. Shoulders and hips on the ground. Back to the center. Knees into the chest. Grab your, the other edges of your feet. Happy baby, soften, relax, step into the joy. Of this pose, the joy within you. Hands behind the knees, rocking to sit it. Hands over the heart. 
and a big breath into the heart center. Let's inhale the hands over the head. Bring them over your third eye and blink your eyes open. Let's bring them over the heart and let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion and love. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to comment below, share, like and let me know what you would like to see next. I will see you next time on the mat.